Okay, this is my Blade MCPX brushless. The story of which is long and complicated. <laughs> Let's see if he will. I think he should fly now, I believe. Yep, he's bound. Yeah, this was long. I bought this off eBay, sort of, with some spares and things, and I knew it was not in great shape. I knew it had been crashed and whatever, and was yeah, questionable functionality. Um, and indeed, when I got it, it just wouldn't bind at all. See, his sail fin there is improvised out of a piece of card. Uh, he's got an upgraded... Uh, metal swash plate on there which I just put on recently because the original one broke well that was a it was a long story basically it wouldn't bind so I ordered a new board a brand new board for it put the new board in and it wouldn't bind with the new board either um, so I contacted horizon support about the new board not about the helicopter obviously can't expect them to support the helicopter but I expect them to support the new board since I just bought it and they I talked to a guy very they're always very good I find horizon support talked to a guy, and uh, they sent me a replacement board. Uh, but it took, a guy, it took me a while to get around to putting it in because I was doing all sorts of other stuff, not really helicopter flying then. I eventually got around to putting the new board in, which is a little bit complicated, as you can well imagine, putting a new board in. You have to disconnect everything and put the new board in. It's all plug-in, you don't have any soldering, but it's a bit convoluted. And, uh, so, and to, I tried to fly it with the new board. It did bind with the new board, okay. So clearly the previous board was defective because I connected the new board exactly the same way I connected the previous one and it flew bound found. But then the swash plate fell in, uh, broke the you know the bearing came out. You can glue them back in, but I had a uh, I had a it's the same swash plate as for the regular MCPX, and I had an MCPX uh, metal swash plate, so I put that in anyway. Hold mode, normal mode. So we'll see if this guy... I, I did actually fly him indoors. He seemed pretty darn twitchy, to be honest. Um, and not very stable, and that's probably not surprising. I mean, you know. You know, he's certainly not in original condition. He's been mucked around with. Although in many ways I think I feel happier flying him outdoors than indoors. You know, at least you've got a bit more room. His tail's twitchy, though, isn't it? You see, this is what I found indoors. His tail never stops twitching. Oh, and I don't know why. That's annoying. I'm sorry about that. I've got some audible... I guess... Well, because he is... He is um, it's useful when you're in... Oh, I don't know. I don't know how useful it is. It's an audible... It's just an indicator of mid-throttle. Mid-left stick, that's what that is. I'm not sure that I like it, because you get this constant clicking all the time as you move the stick up and down. I don't know why I put that in. If indeed I did, maybe I, I might have downloaded a setup for an, an MCPX brushless and then started from that. I don't know. I would. I, it, it's so long ago when I first started trying to get this guy going, because as I say, he wouldn't bind initially. And then I had to order a new board, and then that wouldn't work, and then I had to rebuild him anyway. So it was an exercise. So it's, you know, you, there's something, his tail, maybe he's got too much gyro or something, but his tail is pointlessly, or maybe his tail motor's on the way out or something, because he's twitching nastily, his tail is twitching nastily. That's not me doing anything, it's just doing that. Well, I'm trying to hold him steady, and his tail is, tw other than that he's flying okay, but his tail is twitching, I'd have to have, poke around and see what's going on with that. I'm suspecting maybe, as I say, you know, I'm not getting any timing. I also think I maybe not. I maybe do not have an audible timer on this. Um, I don't think the timer's working at all. So um, maybe I better land him because. Whoops! Not a good land. Not a good landing. <laughs> uh, he flies off a two-cell UMX battery. No, the timer is clearly not working at all. It's saying 329, which is meaningless. Um, that way it was probably supposed to be 330 total. So the timer's not set up right. The, the problem is I set that I should have really redone this whole um, definition for him because I'm not sure where I got it from and how it was done. It flies in, but 
it, it looks like the gyro might be a problem because the tail is very twitchy and the timer is not saying anything. I just want to just want to see if he still flies. Yes, he does. I mean, he doesn't. He, he, I mean, he doesn't really fly that badly. But I need to re adjust this setup. I don't like this clickety click business. Um, I'm not happy. The tail is not holding well. Better landing. Hold mode. Um, the tail is not holding well. The timer is basically not working. It's just a question of how it's set up in the DX9. I'm sure I can fix all these. Uh, well, I'm sure I can fix the timer. I'm not sure I can fix the business with the tail holding because I'm not sure that maybe it may be, it may be, uh, res it may respond to changing the gyro setting in the uh, in the DX9, but it may not. It may be caused by some other problem. Ah, well, actually, to be honest, he flew. That, <laughs> that may not look very impressive, but that was better than I expected. He flew rather better. No, I don't want that one. I wanted monitor. How do you get monitor on this thing? Not like that, clearly. That's volume. Oh, tittle. No, that's not what I want either. Oh, yeah, I thought, I thought you got monitor. So where's the gyro? Hmm. Aha. Hmm. Well, that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. I've got the gear channel set to be on, on switch D to be 100, 100, 0 or minus 100. That doesn't seem to me to make any sense for a helicopter. Well, and I had it on 100 all the time, so that may be why the tail's twitching, because I've got the, the gyro turned up too much. I've got a, I'll have to look at that. That's uh, channel 5. That would be the gyro, I imagine. That, that doesn't seem right at all. Uh, I, you know, I, I set that set, I would have created that, um, set up in the DX9 two or three years ago <laughs> when I first got this guy and first tried to bind him. And I guess I've never really thoroughly checked it out. It flies in without immediate danger, but I, I need to look, definitely look into that gyro setting and, and into the timer setting. Anyway, there you go. I'm actually kind of pleased that, uh, you know, Blade MCPX brushless after all this mucking around, and as I say, that's, he's gone through, he's, that's on his third board, control board, since I bought him, and he actually finally, after all this, finally flies now. So I'm kind of pleased about that.